a Smith & Wesson from Cameron Terrell's murder trial. The exhibit's never seen in public until now. Terrell said he didn't know his younger buddies had a gun as he drove them around in his Mercedes-Benz. Didn't know they planned to kill a complete stranger, Justin Holmes. Rowdy Nation TV, welcome back to the channel. Do me a favor, guys. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so anytime I drop a video, you guys can be notified. Now, we're going to get into the story of the rolling 90s white boy crip, Cameron Terrell, a 19-year-old from Palace Verdes, um, who was charged with um, uh, murder and, uh, and assault. Actually, he was charged with murder and assault, I believe, right? But... Um, we're going to get into this story because this guy just cannot stay out of trouble, right? So let's see how this white boy crib from uh, Palos Verdes was put on put on the hood of the Rolling 90s crib out in California, right? You know what I'm saying? That's the Rolling 90s crib. If you got uh, the Rolling 90s cribs, it's a big hood. It's, they're very reputable, right? And they put this white, this white kid on named Cameron Terrell. And he got a very interesting story. And we're going to dive right into it. Let's get to it. The jury found Terrell not guilty. God knows what really happened that day and God knows what was in my head that day. Terrell seemed to be living a double life, attending high school in Palos Verdes, but escaping to hang out with friends in South Los Angeles. Now Terrell is behind bars again. His parents making no comment, leaving juvenile court, where Terrell pleaded not guilty to multiple charges, including carjacking. His lawyer says the DA is retaliating for the prior acquittal. This is their, their attempt to find some other basis uh, to, uh, to detain him, and this is what we're doing now. In court last year, the jury saw a desperate scene on this police body cam video. Bystanders trying to revive Justin Holmes. You gonna make it! Did anybody say anything? You make it! God is good! The two juveniles charged still await trial. About Terrell's current case, sources confirmed to Eyewitness News that it was five months before this shooting that a carjacking occurred in San Pedro. A suspect told investigators that his accomplice was named Cam and, like Terrell, had a W tattooed on his chest. Because Terrell was 17 years old at the time, this case will be tried behind closed doors in juvenile court. His lawyer is asking that Terrell be released on bail, that he's now enrolled at the University of Houston, Wondering when will it finally end? Okay, what do I start? What do I start? Leave a comment in the comment section. And tell me what you think about this case so far, what you've heard so far. Because I know where I'm from. Anybody who drives a car and there's a drive by shooting taking place, whether he knew or not, he's in trouble, right? So there's a two tier justice system here, as far as I'm concerned. Those two young brothers who got out the car and went and uh, gunned down that young 21 year old man. Yeah, this man right here. They deserve to be where um, where they're at for, uh, for you know, callously gunning down that young man. Yeah, they deserve to be where they at. And I'm sorry, that young white boy Crip, cause they call him white boy Crip. The white boy, he deserves to be exactly there too. He needs to be sitting in a cell right next to them, right? I don't want to hear about, um, uh, you know, he didn't know what they were going to do. That's irrelevant. We can never use that in court. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Do you think that's right? Do you think that he should be in jail with these guys? Or you do you accept that argument that he didn't know what, um, what they were doing? Now, it seems to me this guy was headed down the wrong road, headed for trouble. Five months earlier, he um, had a carjacking, right? So now... Five months later, he's driving people around, shooting people, killing people, I guess in his mom and dad's Mercedes Benz. He comes from um, um, a wealthy, privileged family. He's, I think his mom is an a, a interior, a interior decorator, and his dad is a media mogul. So this is not a broke kid. You know, he was coming down to the hood and these young brothers put him on, which is a shame because I don't even agree with the fact that you're going to sit up here and let this white boy jump in the car with you and go run down and kill another brother. That just does not sit well with me, right? So I don't want to fall... Um, go too far off the rails with this but leave a comment in the comment section to tell me what you think Cameron about this Durrell, case let's get back to it 
Acquitted in a fatal gang shooting last year, Terrell is free again after felony charges in a second crime put him behind bars in March. Because this matter was handled in juvenile court, there are few details. Terrell was facing trial this month on armed carjacking and robbery charges that happened when he was 18 years old. Terrell's lawyer says his client was allegedly an accomplice and, quote, the case has been resolved. Terrell is now back at home and will not return to the University of Houston this semester. RIP to the young brother who lost his life, right? RIP to that brother. You know, I, um, I really just, this is just, you know, you can see it. They put it right out there in front of our face for us to plainly see. You got three people. You got three people committing a crime where one person dies, right? He was acquitted. He gets acquitted again. He's at home in the um, in the confines of his wealthy, privileged home, right? He went down into the hood. He, um, you know, he put a W on his chest, repping uh, rolling what the rolling nineties. He he he, he uh, gets with these two youngsters and they go out and kill this brother, and he's free. How does that happen? It doesn't happen where I'm from. It doesn't happen to the people I know that look like me. It don't. I'm sorry, man. I'm not trying to make this into anything but what it is. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not going to harp too long on that, man, but I just want to know what y'all feel about this, brother. Yeah, that's right. Uh, after a carjacking and a robbery, he, he, he's free. After uh, after a drive-by shooting that killed, that took, he injured those other two. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to say injured those other two, but um, I think they got away. But he killed that young man, 21 years old. Even though he didn't pull the trigger himself, where I'm from, all parties are guilty you know what i'm saying i just want to touch on that if you guys knew about the white boy crib uh rolling 90s crib from uh palace verdes that came down to the hood got put on on the rolling 90s set and he went out and did this atrocious crime to one of our young brothers so that's all i got for you people right now roddy nation tv click that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so anytime i drop a video you guys can be notified we out <laughs>